time we were driving. Uh, Brooks was driving, myself, my parents, Brooks's sister, and Edna Bowder, Mrs. Julius Bowder from Scotland. We came to Europe, we were here almost six weeks, and we were driving around, and lo and behold, we were in Switzerland when they brought the cows down from the mountain. And so we, we, we came through this one area and there's this huge herd of cows and the cows are all over on the highway. And so we, you know, we had to stop and wait till the cows decided to move. And um, of course, you know, when they go up in the mountain in the summertime, uh, someone goes up there to milk uh, the cows too and to make cheese. And that is always the best Swiss cheese. And it always demands, of course, the most price. And um, uh, when they bring the cows down, and then, of course, the cow that has produced the most milk has a ring of flowers around her horns, and she has the biggest bell on. And let me tell you, when, when we were at that Swiss chalet for supper this spring, uh, this summer, those bells are heavy. Uh, when the farmer gave us the heaviest cow bell uh, so that we could try to lift it, and I said, oh, this can't be possible. The cow couldn't possibly keep its head up with that heavy bell on. But anyway, he said, yes, they do. Um, but anyway, then the other cows, I'm telling about the cows in Switzerland, had smaller bells on their neck. And so as we stopped by the roadside to take our pictures and, and uh, let this uh, commotion all happen, it was so beautiful, the cow bells ringing. I said, honest to goodness, certainly the heavenly angels can't sing that nice. 